Here's what's not surprising. 14 conservative states have banned abortion more or less, and there are more uh, severe restrictions and bans pending in a few other states. I think we expected that. What has been surprising have been the ballot initiatives that have uniformly so far protected abortion rights in the six states where they have been up for a vote, including in Kansas. A very uh, conservative state, very red state. Exactly, yeah. and Montana and Michigan, a famously purple state. And so, and Kentucky, actually also another red state. So I think what we're seeing here is that when abortion is put to voters directly, one issue they can concentrate on, they are more interested in protecting abortion rights than I think a lot of people on the right and the left expected. Is this because these individual referenda were overly restrictive compared to, I mean, what Roe versus Wade originally was protecting? Yes, but what's interesting about the ballot initiatives is some of them protect abortion rights up to viability. If uh, abortion opponents thought they would succeed by making voters focus on second trimester abortions as opposed to first trimester abortions, which are much more common, that strategy does not seem to be working so far for them at the ballot box. I mean, the vast majority of people that are getting abortions are getting abortions early when they find out about it, right? I mean, that's well over 90, 95%. That's my understanding, right? Yes, it's about 90% in the first trimester. You're absolutely right. As a political issue, sometimes second trimester abortions get emphasized by opponents as a way of making it seem as if um, that's more common than it really is. I mean, so much of the politics here actually has very little to do with the rights that people experience. Is that correct? Yes, I think that's true. The other thing that we should talk about are abortion pills. I was just about to go there. So first of all, I mean, th that has been, it's been a huge issue for the corporations that are offering or not offering them in red and blue states. It's been a huge issue for the legality and whether or not they are meant to be legal in the entire country. Can you, you know, send them over state lines? T talk about the politics of that. Yeah, so abortion pills now account for more than half of the abortions in the United States. And I think before Roe was overturned, people thought that women seeking abortions would fly to New York. It turns out that while they're willing to drive quite far distances, people who are struggling to get abortions, people of color, um, people without a lot of money, people who need to line up childcare, take time off their jobs, women in those positions are more interested in staying home to have abortions that they manage themselves than I think a lot of clinics and pro-choice organizations expected. And so what we're seeing is that people are finding a way to get pills. It's like a giant legal gray area um, into states with bans or restrictions. A lot of the pills so far are coming from countries like India, which means they can take a while to get here. But there's an increasing effort on the part of blue states to pass shield laws that try to protect abortion providers in their states. So a doctor in New York who prescribes pills across state lines into a state like Texas, that is going to raise a lot of unanswered legal questions going forward. Oh. But it's an important potential avenue of access. Are there potential legal repercussions for a doctor in a state where it is legal to provide abortion pills, providing them to someone who clearly is in a state where that would be illegal? Well, states like Massachusetts are trying to do their best to say, we will not cooperate. If a state with an abortion ban wants to prosecute one of our doctors for prescribing pills across state lines, we're not going to extradite her. We're not going to let you use our court system to go after her medical license or to sue her. Whether that works in the end, whether states can um, oppose each other's efforts to enforce laws like that, that's a big open question.